Words of man say dark and true Why Scotland looks so dear There was a king a land will rule The Scot what fled himself Can cry the hounds of Douglas fail Can string the atric ball Can Morning, guys. It's a uh, Wednesday morning. Uh, the wife's on holiday, so I thought I would uh, go out for a little one nighter. Uh, it's easy to get to this place. I come here a lot, uh, but there's a path here, right? and uh, I don't know if you can see my tent. It's way over there. So, I'm just seeing, if you were walking along this path, if you could see it from here, I can see it, but I know where it is. Yeah, I reckon that's quite a good little spot, in the bushes as well. And uh, the good thing is, if it's windy, the bushes will uh, stop most of the wind. But this is my Van Gogh tent I've brung out. Uh, after doing my video of my trail burrow, I noticed that I don't actually have a video of my uh, Van Gogh saber. I've got one of my Coleman Darwin too. Uh, I don't know one of the high gear, but it's one of those big massive 10 man high gears, so I won't be doing a video of that. I bought that because the wife says she wanted a tent to stand up in. But then when we got it, she says it was too big. It's uh, 23 feet by 13. Which is massive. So this is where I'm camping. I'm sure anybody down the Ayrshire will know where this is. Nobody will think you'll be camping in the bushes in here, do they? Do these people camp? Because I see there's a... I've seen a lot of rubbish here as well. I do know people camp over here, I've been told. So, I think if I had the tent over that way a bit more, it would be... Uh, you wouldn't see it, see over here. But uh, it's not the flattest here. It needs to be flattened out. It's maybe a job for me to flatten that out. Just here. There's a bit of a, a dip to it. But there's quite a good spot. But this is the Van Gogh Sabre 200. It's a uh, 5,000 hydrostatic head. A lot of people have been saying that you can uh, camp in any tent. Uh, you can in spring and summer. I really wouldn't use anything less than 5,000 hydrostatic head in winter time, personally. That's just my opinion. You don't have to take what I say as a gospel, but my opinion, I think you need a 5,000 hydrostatic head when it's raining. You, it's guaranteed not to leak this tent. But yeah, so it's a three pole design. Three pole tunnel, tunnel tent. It's a great tent. I've had it for two years now. I see this uh, pole starting to bend a little bit in the middle, but. But it's two years old, isn't it? It's a great tent. Uh, I got it, it was an X display tent when I got it. It was meant to be £150. But uh, Van Gogh had done a YouTube video, and uh, so they can't see it as a new tent. 
That's why I got it. Yeah, for sixty-six pounds. And it's bigger. It's forty centimeters bigger. So you've got an extra foot and a half inside it. I bought it thinking me and Sarah would go camping, but it has just been me that's been using it. I probably would have been better with the Banshee. The Banshee is a 2.2 kilograms, that's 3 kilograms with poles and pegs. But I will say it's a good tent, good in wind. I've never had a problem with this tent. And you get the line locks and all of that, the usual stuff you get with Vango. But I'll show you inside it. Right, so that's the that's the door rolled up. You've got two of these uh, clip things to hold it on. I've not used this tent since January. Uh, when I went to Kerem Goms, I see it's a bit dirty. Uh, I think I was out February, but I used my tarp, and uh, I've been using that little trail burrow tent. So I really haven't been using this tent much since January. But, uh, but uh, I'll be using this more in the winter time. I'm going to use the trail burrow in the summer time. But yeah, also to say, uh, bird poo. Look, if you get bird poo in your tent, the best to remove it because it'll leak through your fabric. I've just uh, noticed that. I, th I don't know if it's dog poo or, uh, oh, sorry, bird poo or it's dirt, but you're best to remove it. So, here's the inside of the tent. I've got one of those uh, sleep mats. I like to sleep right at the door, right here. So, there is lots of room for another person. Look. Two of these could fit in this tent pretty easy. The, the Banshee, it's a bit of a squeeze, I would say. But this one probably is a better two-man tent. I would say. And it's uh, the orange, the usual orange from Van Gogh inside. So the lightweight sleeping bag I'm using, it's just an old one I've got. I've had for years and years. But uh, it says it's a three season, it's not. It's more two season. Uh, maybe even one season. Don't know. It's not two season anyway, but uh, I just uh, put thermals on as well with it. Thermal top, thermal uh, bottoms, and they're usually fine. So I was going to get another tent. I was going to get a lighter tent, but I think I'll just keep the Vango, the Vango Saber. It's a great tent. I've had it for two years. It's never let me down, so I think I'll just keep using this one and the uh, little chill burrow tent. Uh, I was wanting to get a lighter tent so I could put it inside that, the Northern Ireland, the 40 litre pack, but uh, I got it all in. I got the tent, the sleep mat, a uh, sleep mat was in the bottom, sorry, look, in the bottom here, see the bottom of the bag. But I got the sleeping bag in, the tent in, all my food in, my outkit pot in, my frying pan in, my coffee in. Oh yeah, that's another thing that uh, Van Gogh have a look. So I like to use one of these, but I just put it here. This is just a summit one, a Tesco one, I think it has five pounds. I've had that a couple of years as well now. It's a good little top to that one. But yeah, I'm going to stick all my stuff in this pack here. But I've got it in, so... This tent in. I do love this tent. I was thinking it was too heavy and too bulky, but... 
if I can get it in the pack, and then I'll continue using this one. I just need a wash this tent, there's bits on it. I'll probably need to take it off and give it a good clean, I think. I think that's been from Kerem uh, Grums. I've never had it dirty before, but uh, I've got my lunch, my breakfast cooking. I think it's only like 8 o'clock in the morning. So, I'm having my breakfast. I've done a video, but I don't think it worked. But I'm having Scottish sliced and black pudding on two rolls. There you go, guys. I'm sick of uh, having the council coffee. So, I've brought my coffee there with me. <laughs> the council coffee I normally have is uh, this stuff. It's uh, Dow Edwards. But yeah. Ugh. I don't know if people can drink that. So there we go, I'll just let that settle. And I'll have a nice coffee. Yeah. Mm. So there we go, my coffee's ready. It does look pretty weak, but it's not. It's uh, the Costa stuff. I don't know if that's the way that it looks normally it's supposed to be, but uh, a lot bit of grass in there. Right, there we go. The grass is on. Yeah, we can't have grass in your coffee, can we? But yeah, it does look pretty weak. But no, it's, it's good. I do love Costa coffee. Oh, mm, lovely. Better than that council coffee. Ugh. <laughs> right, so there, that's where I was camping, guys. Yeah, I've left no trace. Uh, my pot will be going with me, my little stove. I just had another little coffee there when I was taking the tent down. And uh, I've got my little bag of rubbish. But uh, all my gear fits in this little bag. No, it's not very big. And uh, my mate over in Australia, VB Ed, was asking what I sleep on. So that mate. Uh, self inflating mat and uh, one of the closed foam mats on the bottom. So at the bottom, I've got my sleeping bag and then uh, my tent takes up that amount of room. And there's lots of room left over. I've got my frying pan, my cafe there, my thermals, and my uh, lantern. I really didn't need the frying pan, I just stuck it in because. I was wanting some sliced sausage, but uh, if I was pushed for space, I wouldn't bring that. And uh, then I've got the two side pockets, which my water's in this side, and then my food, and all that's in here, my pot. I didn't have much, it's just really for uh, one or two nights, that's all I really do. 
I really don't camp for more than two nights, really, to be honest. Wish I could, but I can't really, so... That's... You've just got to do what you do, eh? Two nights is the most I can do. So I just stick the lantern on the outside, and uh, I've got my waterproofs up here. And here, waterproof trousers and a uh, waterproof jacket. 